Hi, my name is David Patterson. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and this is my final project for CS50. Today, I will be demonstrating BearQuest, a text-based adventure game written in C. Structurally, BearQuest's primary file, bearquest.c, calls functions declared in the two header files, functions.h and dialog.h. These functions control the text displayed to the player, accept player input, and write to the game's log. BearQuest can be launched within the CS50 Codespaces version of VS Code by simply entering the make BearQuest command, which we've used throughout the CS50 course. This will compile the game using the available make file. Alternatively, a zip file containing a pre-compiled desktop version for Windows has been included in the GitHub folder for the project. The pre-compiled Windows version of the game displays text a little differently than the version in VS Code. This is unfortunately a side effect of the Windows.h library not being available in the Linux environment of code spaces, um, but this is the only difference between the two versions. Today, I will be showing the Windows version for demonstration purposes. When players first launch BearQuest, they will be asked to input their name or the character's name. After typing this, players must choose a character class to play as. You can either type the number or type the name of the class. Either will work. I'm going to choose a knight. The setting for the story is a high fantasy medieval world. Gameplay consists of story-based decisions centered around an encounter with a bear, hence the name Bear Quest. The player is given a list of decision prompts and must choose which actions to take next. Some of these prompts are directly tied to the character class and will only appear when the class is chosen. Many actions in the game may succeed or fail based on a random roll behind the scenes. The chance of success is hidden from the player, but generally, logical actions are given a higher chance of success. Based on the player's choices and an element of luck, the player can achieve multiple different endings to the story. At the end of the game, whether the player wins or loses, the player is presented with the option to restart the game and play again. Restarting the game will call the main function recursively to let the player begin again. After the player is done playing, they may press enter to exit the game. Additionally, a log file tracking the narrative decisions of the player is generated during the game and may be viewed in the adventure log text file after successfully exiting the game. So this concludes my demonstration of Bear Quest. Before I end this, I also wanted to give a big thank you to the entire team running the CS50 course. It's actually really incredible that this course is offered for free to the whole world, and it's helped me break into programming and computer science in general. My name is David, and this has been my final project for CS50.